What's up tweener heads? Welcome back to another tweener head tennis video here today on our channel and if you're new to the channel Hey, how's it going? My name's Phil and this is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to understand what's going on on and off the court. Now today we have a very special interview with two-time All-American Anna Rogers. Anna Rogers grew up in Connecticut like myself. We grew up together at the same academy and now she's one of the top Division I tennis players for NC State in the ACC Conference. She's one of the top female talents in college right now. She's set the records for NC State in singles and doubles. She has the number one record for most wins in doubles for NC State and top 10 for singles wins as well. Before you do anything else and before you listen to this interview, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on so that way you don't miss any videos here on our channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers right now, so any sub will help the channel as well. So without further ado, here's our interview with Anna Rogers. All right, Anna, how are you today? I'm good, how are you doing? Can't complain, how's quarantine life been you, for you? Pretty. Pretty good. Um, actually, pretty entertaining. I've been picking up a lot of new hobbies, and I've been working out and running a lot, so it's been good. What's one of the new hobbies? Uh, coloring, and I've been uh, crafting. So I put like I do like collages, and I put them together, which is fun. Interesting. What do you color? I just color like regular coloring books that you get from Michaels. You just get colored pencils and you color them in. And then the the other one, the scrapping one, is basically just cutting out pictures of magazines and putting it on a poster and then putting it in my room. Okay, I was a little bit worried that you were going to say, like, make it into one of those ransom notes. Like, cut out each letter <laughs> and then just send it to your friends to kind of mess with them. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> but currently, D1 athlete from NC State. You're currently in North Carolina, correct? Yes. How's life been kind of after everything's been over? Honestly, the days are just blurring together. I think I can say that for probably everybody in the country. Yeah. Um, but honestly, just super boring, to be honest. But I just I have so much more time now that school's online and everything's closed. Um, so I think it gives me more time to do more things and actually be aware of my time and what time I wake up and how much of the day I've ruined when waking up at like noon. <laughs> has it has it been a lot different kind of when you go from a very packed schedule, maybe waking up at 5 a.m. to now you get to sleep in to however long you want unless you have a class? Yeah, it is, it is completely different. Um, I'm usually waking up at 7.30 to 8 o'clock each day and I usually start with classes and then practices in the afternoon and it's I, I this is dangerous because I'm getting in a really bad sleeping pattern of going to bed late and waking up late which is the complete opposite of what I do for the year and just having so much so much more time to myself and to figure out things to do I just the first week I, I, I didn't know what to do so I just watched TV I think the for most recent news for you is being announced as an All-American how'd that feel it was awesome. It was really cool to do it two years in a row. So, what was it? Did they do they email you? What's the process like? Do you just find out on social media? So yeah, basically that's basically how we found out through social media. But I knew that we were going to be all Americans coming in uh, okay. to these rankings because we were two, I think, in the rankings when everything was halted, mm -hmm. and the top eight are guaranteed all Americans. Okay. So we kind of knew it. But it was cool to see on social media, too. That's pretty funny that you can't even... It's like, I'm expected to be an All-American if you're that highly ranked. <laughs> well, if you made the qualifications, yeah. Well, yeah, but... of course. <laughs> and your your usual partner is Alana, correct? Uh, yeah. And how? what's your chemistry like? Because you guys have always been highly ranked throughout the season, and she's a sophomore now? Yes, yeah. I feel like she's going to be a junior, but technically a sophomore still. I was about to say, so you, like should, a repeat of the year, you, so. you should know this if you've played together for so long. Yeah. So um, where do no. you find that chemistry? Honestly, from the first time the coaches threw us together, it was just, it clicked. Like she, her game in doubles complements my game really well. She's a big server, so I can move at the net. And I think our personalities work really well together. She's a little bit more laid back, and I'm more kind of like the fiery, explosive person. So she calls me down in really intense situations, and I bring her up in situations that are kind of like, 
just dwindling down, so I need to pick it up. But yeah, so we work well. Uh, we work well together. Do you think there's that well balanced mentality for you guys throughout the team? Because it seems like for you and Alana, you guys sync well together. Is there a lot of that balancing out on the team? Uh, I think one and two doubles. We definitely have the same mentality. I think. Uh, those two doubles teams, like, they're meant to be together. I think that we're all on the same page, and we just know how each person moves, how each person reacts, because we practice a lot. And three doubles is a little bit different because it's hard. Like, we have two perfect matchups at one and two doubles, Mm -hmm. but three it's a little different because one person's good at one thing and another person's good at another thing, but they don't quite know how to work that well together yet. Okay. That's why we need more practice, but, yeah. So, and what uh, number do you play in singles right now? Uh, right now, two. Two, okay. I, mm-hmm. should, I probably should have known that, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> if Do you prefer singles or doubles? Because you came into it as a highly ranked doubles player. Yeah, I, I think I prefer doubles more just because okay. it's more fun. And I feel like I'm not as isolated as I am in singles. Doubles is just, I don't know, like I just have a much better time and it's faster and it's just more fun. Do you, th- do you think that's a problem in tennis with it's this is a more general question but that isolation feeling that you feel in singles do you think that's a lot tougher than people think when they play a sport like tennis because it's a it's a team sport but you're again you're the only one on court oh 100% because when you're on a team if you play bad or like, like if you're on a soccer team, say, yeah. and you're having a bad game, you can easily just get subbed out and yeah. somebody else put in if you're having a bad game, whatever. In tennis, you, you can't do that. Like, you literally have to battle out there by yourself. You have to have the pressure of battling for your teammates, for your team, for your coaches, for the spectators. There's just so many factors that go into it and make it such a lonely sport in a way. Yeah. And as you can imagine, juniors was way worse because you weren't even on a team. So, <laughs> but yeah. It, what was that like going from juniors to college? Did you? What was the first thought of going to NC State? Oh, I loved it. I mean, all of the team events in juniors. Yeah. I excelled in the most. I think I'm not really a big non-team player, <laughs> so. Coming to school, I think it just really, really helped me and helped my game. Like, I just, I elevated my game completely. And I'm really thankful for the team and what the coaches have done. What made you choose NC State? So, I wanted to get away from home, but not too far away from home. Okay. And I wanted to have coaches that, that's goals matched up with my goals. Mm -hmm. And I honestly didn't even know NC State was a school. But Good. Ryan, but Ryan, my coach, um, he knows Simon, our head coach right now, nice. from what was it? I think it was Bolotary. Yeah, it was Bolotary, and they made, met each other there. And Ryan talked to him about me, and then Simon finally reached out to me. And mm-hmm. the way Ryan was talking to me about him. He just, he sounded like the perfect coach for me, and it sounded like the perfect place for me. And when I got there, I just kind of knew. Like, Raleigh's a really cool city, too. You get a good rural and city mix. Mm -hmm. The city's an eight-minute drive away, and the people are just so nice in the South, too. So you can't beat that. (laughs) You can't beat that hospitality at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were there other options for you, or was NC State the initial choice? Yeah, there were a couple other options. Um, I didn't go as in-depth into the recruiting process as probably a lot of other people did. Okay. NC State was my only official visit. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and I didn't really schedule any other ones. Um, I wasn't really interested in talking to as many coaches. Okay. And right when I found Simon, I just, I don't know, I just kind of put 100% into it, and it worked out. It seems like it's worked out seeing as you're a two-time All-American and you're the number one historical NC State player in wins for doubles or singles? I think doubles. Doubles, and you're like six all-time for singles. Yeah. Do a lot of people bring that up, or is that kind of just, here, that's it? Um, not a lot of people bring it up at all. I, I don't think a lot of people know about it. Um, okay. I didn't even know that I was on a list in singles, so. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Where did you find your inspiration from for tennis? So when I was about four or five, my aunt worked at a country club mm -hmm. in Connecticut, and she was she worked the front desk at the tennis club. And my mom, my, my aunt had discounts or whatever to get me lessons, so I did some lessons, and I, I guess I really liked it. I don't remember, but I played soccer and tennis, like both of them, um, and other sports up until sophomore year, freshman year of high school or sophomore year. Okay. And then I just kind of just kept doing tennis and stopped soccer. Oh well. Did mm -hmm. you, did it just find something better? That felt better when you started playing it. Yeah, I was just I was just better at it than I was at soccer, I think. And obviously in soccer you can get scholarships and that's good, but tennis there's a lot more opportunities for scholarships than people think, especially yeah. in D one. Oh yeah. Uh but yeah. Who's your favorite player right now? Women or men? Both. Uh men, Fed, of course. Of course. He's a legend. Of course. Um women. I don't know. I don't really have a... I guess I like Halep. I think really? Halep's really cool. Yeah, she's cool. I like Serena, too. Like she's the GOAT. Yeah. I respect her. She's so good. <laughs> but I think I like Halep because she's a little bit more modest, and she works really hard, and, I mean, she's 5'4", and just freaking dominates people. <laughs> I just like that. <laughs> did you model your game after her, or where did you... Did you watch anyone, like growing up to kind of like play like them besides fed honestly not really like i am a tall girl but i do not hit the ball super hard so i couldn't really? relate to like sharapova or serena or anybody oh wow um, yeah so i i play more of like a all-around not crafty but smart i guess no sometimes. you can say you can say smart with confidence <laughs> yeah <laughs> i guess i play smart that's more than power that's why you're a two-time all-american and I'm going to keep saying that throughout this video. <laughs> How would you, uh, let's see, what is your favorite moment from NC State right now? My favorite moment? Tennis related. Tennis related. Um, honestly, I think it's when we played against Florida in Florida for the okay. ITA kickoff weekend. Okay. I think it was my junior year, so last year, mm -hmm. and we were tied three all, and I was in the clinching match, and I won it, and that was that granted our first bid into national ITA indoors. Oh wow! For the first time ever in school history, so oh that's huge. I think that was my favorite time, but most recently, I would say our win against Georgia. Oh, I mean, nice. they were number three in the country. Huge. And. We beat them at National Indoors, so it was cool. Was there always a rivalry between you and another school, or was it? Um. Well, Duke and UNC are obviously the big ones, mm. and since they're, we I think we were higher ranked than Duke this year. Mm. But last year they were higher ranked than we were. Okay. Um, we didn't get a chance actually to play them this year, which kind of stinks. But UNC is also really good. And I think those are our two biggest competitors. Oh, fair enough. Is it true that you want to be a vet? I, it was. <laughs> I, when I, coming into school, I, I did really want to be a vet. And okay. I wanted to do stuff with animals, but then I kind of thought about it, and it's really hard <laughs> here. And I'm not good at science. I'm just not like a math or science person. So I went into business, and I think that was the best option for me. What is it, What are you studying right now? So I am a marketing major nice. with a minor in accounting, and since I, I was granted the extra year of eligibility, I'm in a minor in psychology, so I'm going to have a double minor. Oh, wow. So with yeah. this new rule, you'll be able to go to school again and play. Yeah, literally. Do you think that'll make a huge impact with tennis? Because I feel like a lot of people, men and women, you'll have older, stronger, maybe more experienced people coming back after new recruits come in? Yeah, I think that's going to definitely be difficult. I think all the teams are going to be better because of it. Oh. So that just makes the competition even better, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, 
And I think we're all kind of really excited for that. And I'm honestly excited to meet the new, our new freshmen coming in because I wouldn't have been able to. Okay. So. That's fair. That's kind of cool mm-hmm. because you do it multiple times, right? Yeah. Are we, is it hard? Are you the captain this year? I mean, we don't, like, we're one of the teams that captains. we just don't really, yeah, yeah, we don't really do captains, but um, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I was trying to lean towards being in a leadership role. Do you take it upon yourself to help the freshmen as much as you can, or do you leave it to someone else? Does someone kind of help them along the journey besides the coach? Oh, I I definitely help them. I think, I mean, obviously making a shift from juniors into college is very, very different. Mm -hmm. And our coaches are tough, Yeah. so it's a little hard for freshmen to come in and they just kind of like cower in and they don't really embrace it so after my years of experience I just kind of let them know what they should do better and how they can improve and what they're doing well and what helped me when I was in their position and all that stuff so I, I, I like to help them a lot you said that your coaches are tough and it might intimidate some of these kids were, do you take the more aggressive approach to learning or more of kind of a lean back learn as you go? Uh, honestly, for me, it depends on the day. Like, <laughs> I'm so up and down. No, it's fair. My assistant coach and I work really well together because it's kind of like me and Alana. Like, they're very similar in personalities. Okay. They're just really calm and, um, like, they'll talk through problems and – let you know what to do and what all this stuff. But then the more aggressive coach is probably our a head coach, Simon. Like, he's more tough on you, mm-hmm. and he tries to motivate you in that way. And some days I like that, but then mm-hmm. other days I need the calm. So I'm usually just with the calm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need to kind of balance out, right? Yeah. Awesome. Well, Anna, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. There goes my battery because I'm at 20%. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Thanks for chatting. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Bye.